Hello fans, you're welcome to yet another class with DK Chris. In today's class, I'm going to teach you how you can generate dynamic charts using Microsoft Excel option form control. I'm in Microsoft Excel right now and you can see I'm currently on the developer tab. In case you don't have your own developer tab right there, it simply means it's not activated. To activate it, you head on to file, then you click on option. Then you click on customize ribbon you will see your developer file right here you can go ahead and check it i can uncheck and check this one right back after which i'll click ok so let me go ahead and take this application if i click on cement you can see that the chart is changing on sugar on salt the values there are changing the chart is changing even the values in this red rectangle is also changing Click on total, salt, sugar, cement, they are changing the dynamic. Okay, so to build this application, we'll move over to the second sheet, which is sheet 2. I've copied and pasted the table right here. So we we'll just focus on building the application. The very first function you will need to know is what we call the index function. So it will return the intersection of the rows and columns of a specified range. So permit me to copy and pick this function after which I will explain its argument. So it's in my clipboard right now. So I've pasted it right here. Okay. So this function, remember, I will escape. I'm supposed to paste it here so that we will follow up with what we have there. Okay. So this is the function. It's giving me hash value because I've not really um, chosen the argument right. But this function is saying... I've chosen a range of values here from B4 to E9, which is from this here, from B4 to E9. As so you can see, it will be rightly selected. And remember, it's absolute format. So the cell reference is absolute format. Also, the second argument, which is the row number, I've selected a row. The row function returns the number of rows selected. So here I've selected from B4 to B4, but remember absolute B4. So the B4 here is absolute, while the other one at the other side of the range is relative. So that means as I'm drawing these values, automatically what increasing. So we just get to know it. So this is what the column, the last one there is what the column number, which is C12. And if you're following up, C12 is this box we have here, this, this red rectangle. Okay, so now that we've selected this, these stuffs, we now go ahead and create our option button. To do that, we just head over to, I can select this box here, then we go to the developer tab, then we move to insert, we click on insert then on option button we click on it so our mouse will turn to a cross sign so i can just draw my option button right there this is my option button there so i can move it up a little until i'm comfortable with what i have okay though this is the first option button i can duplicate it by you no know, hitting control D on my keyboard. So if I hit control D, you see I have the button duplicator because I need four of them. So if I arrange them, okay, now I want to fill in the values. So I will right click on it. Sorry, then select um, edit text. So here I can now clean up what I have here and type in my values so I type in cement okay okay so having um edited this radio buttons right there I can now right click on it then format control I'll add format control to the radio buttons so when this dialog box opens right here i can now link them to a particular cell 
okay so i want to link them to this particular cell which is cell c12 and absolute it has to be absolute so dollar sign in front of c and dollar sign in front of 12 so after which i'll click okay when i'm clicking on cement it is giving me one sugar is giving me two salt is giving me salt is giving me three white total is giving me four and you can see the values they are now coming up okay so what will happen is this we want a situation whereby we can link these values remember the this is the equation that is doing this magic so if i draw this across you can see that the values are filled in automatically okay so if i choose cement the values they are now changing choose salt the values they are changing choose total the values they are changing they are picking the values in the columns okay so i can decide to draw a pie chart with these values here remember this one here is dynamic so when after selecting this i can go to insert then choose pie charts in the chart group you can choose this one then i've created it and will draw it to a point so the phone is whenever i'm changing clicking on one from one radio button to another one like from total to sold so as these values are changing this chart is changing as well and the points this guy is still changing so the index is now taking into consideration this particular range here the very first one the array from b4 to from b4 to e9 that is this point this range selected so it's looking through the rows in this progression from 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 and you see the columns is what c12 so it's it's, it's now looking through this particular column to know whether it's one column one that is looking at or whether it's column two or whether it's column three that is what this particular last argument this column number does because this guy is dynamic as well courtesy of the option buttons as we are clicking on one of them because it's linked to this cell they are changing so if it hacks one it's going to return the cement column if it hacks two it's going to return the sugar column if it asks 3, here it's going to return the salt column and it asks 4, it's going to return the, what, the total column. But that is the idea. As this guy is dynamic, the chart is dynamic as well. I believe you've learned something from this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the channels um, so that we can get like videos of such. So subscribe to my channel, like the videos, share the videos and you'll be my friend forever thank you very much and see you in the next class